Just an important thing to reiterate, guys, which is a great thing about this base, is this can be your starter base. This starts out as a one by one. How important that is, is insane. Because, of course, you don't have to make a starter base to build another base at the end of the wipe. So I just thought I'd let you know that before we get right into this video. But let's go. Hey guys, what's up today? I'm here and I'm going to be showing you my uh, 3 to 4 man group base. It only costs 39,000 stone, 8,000 wood, and 9,000 metal. Now, I know the cost is a bit much, however, with that cost comes great defensive properties. And as you can see, it, it is one heck of a bunker. Let's go ahead and check out the inside. Uh, just to reiterate, it consists of nine large boxes, one small box, six furnaces, and four sleeping bags. Alright, this is going to be your core here. It's going to be your starter base. You're going to have, you know, just a little cupboard, chest, large furnace. I mean, sorry, furnace, small box, sleeping bag, and another large box. You're going to go to the door right here. This is your way up. Let's go ahead and get up there. Now you're on your second floor, which is going to be loot level. You're going to walk through these two doors. And it's kind of like a maze, but these are where your three se the other three seating bags are going to be. You're going to walk through this door. There's going to be four chests. You're going to walk through this door. And that'll be another four chests. And through this door will be your five furnaces and a small box. Easily accessible. You know, five furnaces plenty. You're not really going to need much more than that. Okay? So let's go ahead and go to the, large, the uh, ladder hatch. And as you can see, we have a wide range of view. We can shoot down there, there, got side shots, you know, throw back to these, which used to be a thing a long, long time ago. Complete coverage there, and it's the same thing around the entire base. Yeah, that's pretty much the, uh, the base. Um, as you can see, it is at least three C4, so I'll show you if we're going in from, uh, about here-ish. Okay, that's one, that's two, look at that, there's nothing, three, four, okay, yeah, that's a, that's a lot of C4 when you think about it. You know, this base is definitely a hunker, that's a big meaty thing. It's got great online defense and great defensive, like offline defensive properties. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, check out the base build. So starting with the base build, you're just going to have this easy little simple one by one that you're going to surround and have a door on it like that. And make that sheet metal and the foundation sheet metal and you're going to wall yourself in here. Okay, next we're going to have our nice cupboard in the back, left corner. It really doesn't matter what corner you put it in as long as you have it in the corner, but preferably it would be the back left corner. You're going to place your large chest right back there. There we go. We're going to have a furnace opening here. And we're going to have a small box right here with a campfire. We're going to add that. Hmm. Doesn't like us. Oh, there we go. Campfire and one sleeping bag. This is going to be our area along with a uh, stair set. Yeah, you can place it like this, so I'm just going to show you. Or, of course, you can remove the roof and not place it yet. That's always a viable option. But yeah, there you go. That's our uh, one by one done. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you that we're going to... I'm going to go ahead and do all the upgrades as well. So we're going to go ahead and set that to twig. Let's go ahead and get our hammer. Oh, what are we going to need next? Uh, probably this. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our... Uh, these are going to be triangles like this. So two triangles are all going to curve in like this. So we're going to be like a ninja blade with uh, squares, which like this, and our walls. Our door is going to be right here, actually. Let's upgrade all these to sheet metal, don't want our floors to decay. That's no fun. And all our uh, walls to stone. Just like that. Now what you're going to do, that is facing the wrong direction, is you're going to find out which room do you want your, uh, do you want your, uh, ladder hatch to be in. Mine, I want this to be in this room, so we're going to go ahead and place the like that, like that, and we're going to have the wall there. So we're going to wall, wall, and wall. We're 
we're gonna have our floor frame. So you're gonna enter like this, you're gonna have the thing here. So let's go ahead and wall off all these compartments. Um, you're gonna want this one facing like so, because they're probably going to blast into the, uh, Okay, that one's gonna be soft-sided there, because there are gonna have to be on that. So like that, like that, like that. This is gonna be soft-sided on that side, like that, like that, and that one would be hard-sided. No, not there yet. That one's gonna be soft-sided on that side, so it's gonna be hard where the way we're facing. This one's gonna be soft-sided the way we're facing, and this one's gonna be hard the way we're facing. And now we figure that all out. Let's go ahead and get our doors down. We're gonna do this. This and this. Okay, let's go ahead and place some nice stairs here. Alright, that looks it's, it's starting to look nice. Let's go ahead and get our ladder hatch down. There we go. We'll have that facing this direction, so we see it up. Okay, let's go ahead and place our floors. Now the thing about this is you don't want people picking up into your loot rooms. So you're gonna place sheet metal floors all around. Go ahead and get those up into the sheet metal. There we go. You don't need to upgrade this to sheet metal because it's stone. Nobody can pick that because it's ladder hatch frame. But let's go ahead and get all the floors and the walls down. go. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to alternate the uh, the loot room sides. Okay, we're going to do, we're going to place doors last. So we're going to have a loot room here and a loot room there and have the fire there. We have the furnaces there. So we're going to go ahead and place the furnaces. Obviously, you want to place this wall immediately first on each one of these because you do not want to mess up and have the wall sorry about the explosions uh, come, like, block what you're trying to place. Because, watch, you'll, like, accidentally place the thing, like, too far over that direction. You want to place the wall. See, you can't place it, so you don't want that to happen. You want to place the wall first, so that it lines you up to place it like this. And then we can have our four chests, like, one, two, and three, and four. Okay. This our roof. Upgrade that to stone, actually, because it doesn't matter if anybody picks up from this, because there won't be any loot upstairs. So we're saving some resources. We're going to go ahead and place our thing there. Have our wall here and here. Okay, and then we'll have our door facing this direction. So we have our easy access there. We're going to go our door. Let's go ahead and have our thing here. We're going to get rid of this because we don't want that there yet. So we have plenty of room to place these correctly. Just like so. Let's get our door back down. Put this both the stone and have a wall. Uh, I mean, stone wall facing soft side to us. Okay, next one you're going to do the furnaces. You're going to place the one in the back right corner, then the back left corner. And you're going to try to fit the middle one in as close as you can and put these right over in the farthest you can over. Just like that. And then we're going to get our small box. And we're just going to place it like that. So now it's easy. You can access all these. So just like this. Alrighty, see, we can access all those. We're going to place our door, our door, and our floor, and our floor, and our floor. Go ahead and get all these floors down. Not there, though. Not on the center. This one is going to be a floor frame. Let's go ahead and get all this stone. Let me get that. And a wall here. And we're going to have our door facing this direction because we don't want people coming through there. Let's go get that to stone, get that to stone, that to stone. Alrighty. Now let's get our ladder hatch down. We're going to have fist since we're probably not going to go into the furnace room as, like, as much. But of course you can customize which way you want your ladder hatch to open by your preference. Alrighty. So this is what you're going to basically want. You know, this is stage two. You're going to want this as stage two. Now we're going to move on to stage three. Right, this is like optimum defense, okay? So for optimum defense, we're gonna go ahead and make it so you can't just blow straight in. So we're gonna have a wall here and a wall here. You know, a foundation here and a foundation there. And a foundation there and a foundation there. And a foundation here 
and the foundation there. Then you're going to go ahead and upgrade these all to sheet metal because we can only put it to decay. So let's go ahead and do that. And here we go. You're going to place walls all the way up to this second floor here. Alright, just for now. And again, this is just to prevent them to be able to blow straight in to the, uh, to the loot rooms. And obviously with this base, the good thing is, is that all your loot isn't in one central location. And, you know, to blow into one loot room, it's going to cost you at least three to four C, you know, at least six to four C4. You know, if not even more rockets, eight to twelve. And then, of course, you get to the other one, it's going to cost you at least the same. So you're spending at least... 12 to 8 C4 to get some of your loot, not even all of it, because it's supposed to go downstairs to get the cupboard. So you think about these things and you make sure that all your stuff's together. So, like this, 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 this. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and get up here. Let's place our floors down. Alright, so I'm going to show you what I did for my base, and of course you can customize it what you want to. We're going to have these four windows on these middle triangles here. Okay, we're going to have a wall right here, a wall right there, here, and right there. Okay, right here we're going to have another wall, and we're going to have a triangle here and here, and here and here. Get those walls down uh, here and here. And just like that. Okay, let's go ahead and get all these to stone. Oh, we forgot the walls here. Now, just a uh, just a warning. Um, these these spots here, you can drop stuff down. There. Now I'll show you what I mean in a second. You die. Uh, let's go ahead and get some. All right, let's go ahead and block off our ladder hatch. Really went like this. Okie dokie. Just like that, we're gonna have our door frame here. There, we forgot the one over here. Let's go get this. Like that. And the last one, like that. Okay. And upgrade those. Put the stone. Let's go ahead and get this out. And we're going to want that and this. We're going to place these so they both open into each other. Like this. Alright, so you can easily walk across them and nobody can shoot you. Okay. And let's go ahead and do that. Let's upgrade all these. go. We'll open into each other just like this. Okay, there we go. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and get some floors down. Okay, square here. Alright, let's get some more triangles down like that. in here. I apologize about that. Alright, now let's go ahead and... You guys can do it from inside, of course, but we're just going to go ahead and fly up the stairs to make it a little bit quicker. And you're going to upgrade all these floors to stone. Okay, now that this is all done, you can, of course, this is optional, place a ton of these up here just to prevent it. One there, one there, and one there. Obviously, it's kind of annoying to have people on your roof. I hate it when I try to go outside the farm and I get instantly headshot. Oop, did not mean to do that. By some random idiots who sat up there for at least an hour waiting for me to come outside my base. I, I get kind of pissed off, if you know what I mean. 
so we're gonna do this to prevent that, of course. And I just did it again. Jeez Louise. Okay, and since you can't, it's kind of hard to place them, I don't really think you can place them right here. So what we're just going to do is we're just going to place one right there. And let's go ahead and run around here, and one right there. And now, you know, we got our roof protected. We got all our floors protected. Ah, wait, one step I forgot. Of course, you can customize the windows to what you want to put on them. Shutters, of course, window bars, vertical or horizontal shutters, or armored windows work just fine. Okay, so that's a pretty that's that's pretty much the entire base, of course. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try to get back to them as fast as I can. But yeah, that's pretty much the entire base. Uh, yeah, remember to leave a like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, because I do try to upload them as often as possible. But yeah, thanks again, guys, for watching, and bye.